So we're here at the Marvel uh, booth here at CES 2012. So you're launching the first ARM powered Google TV? Correct. So uh, what is the CPU? What is the processor? So it's a dual core ARM 67 based CPU processor. Um, and it's our, it's called the Armada 1500 uh, SOC, HD Media SOC. So again, here it's able to support all the different content inputs, right? So from your web to your PTV, um, and handle it, it'll handle all the graphics and um, the different internet web capabilities like Flash. So let so me show you. In here. This is a, a prototype or final box? This is just a final prototype here, um, but our, the board is a uh, uh, So this is a full Google TV? Like the full experience of Google TV? Correct, yes. Input, output, in infrared, everything? Yes. Like there's nothing missing compared to the ones that are on the market right now? It's, it's enhanced, yeah. Enhanced, yes. it's actually more. Yes. So this is not even the Honeycomb update that they've shown on Intel. This is even more. There's more. This is actually on the Honeycomb. Honeycomb right now? Yes. Is it going to be ice cream sandwich when it launches? Or? Um, I we would have to ask Google on that. Um, so how smooth, how fast is it? Sure, let me show you. Let's pull up YouTube. Okay, and I'll show you just a trailer. Oh, uh, the Exos. So it's a dual core. Is there a gigahertz spec? It's up to 1.2 gigahertz. 1.2? Yes. And this is a, like off the shelf. Uh, this is the box itself, not the uh, keyboard, or is it the special one? It's the same thing. This is the box. Yeah, it's not a TV. Correct. This is one that's used for Google TV. TV box. So it just works with yours as well. Yep, it's just connected right here to the USB dongle here. So it can support two 1080p streams at the same time. Correct. Multiple streams. Why do you need that? Um, because we have different. You know, the consumer really wants their TV to be their command center in their living room and basically bringing all different types of content into one. So you need multiple streams and, and our SOC is able to support that. Nice. So is it the picture-in-picture -picture stuff? Uh-huh. Picture-in-picture, yeah. Picture, yeah. That's why you, you need it? Or do you also need 60 frames per second playback of every codec, high profile, stuff like that? I can't answer that specific question, um, but our SOC is able to support multiple streams. So, there is an HDMI input in here? Correct. There's an HDMI input. Right there. There's in, out, out, Ethernet, power, and then USB in the front. USB in the Can you connect a... And also a micro USB. Can you connect a Eventually, we'll build it in to a lot of TVs, so we'll have it built in, no? So the Google TV ecosystem uh, consists of Google TVs, television sets, Blu-ray players, as well as um, set-top boxes, so the buddy box. And so uh, later this year, early Q2, you will see uh, OEMs releasing uh, such products. So, and so our SOC goes into all those three products. So your SOC is going to be in final products in Q2 this year? Early Q2, correct. Early Q2 is ready? Yes. But soon? Yes, it's very soon. So months. consumers can be really excited about it. Nice. This is a big project for Marvel, right? This is uh, not only big, but we're also uh, very proud of this project and uh, our interaction and our partnership with Google. So a, a year and a half ago, I was at a conference and the uh, uh, Marvel C CEO said that um, it might cost as little as $25 the hardware to add this kind of stuff into a TV. So it will be cheap, right? Is that your advantage? Absolutely. So, you know, a lot of the CE manufacturers, um, as well as the consumers, you know, they've been complaining about the price and the fact that Marvell can intelligently bring that cost, cost down. And so the whole chain basically is satisfied with the low cost.